for Louisville. The co-champs with Notre Dame, but the number one seed, the Irish in their blue jerseys for the ACC championship. And a pair of teams that Charlie Cream just talked about as both pretty solid as number ones for the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I, I agree with Charlie. As you see the alley-oop and back door to Jasmine Jones against the 2-3 zone. We will see a lot of zone out of Notre Dame today. Yesterday we saw 2-3, we saw 1-3-1. One, one. Those are the only changes on the defensive end. And, you, and also, Beth, for Louisville, you're going to see an awful lot of ball pressure on Marina Mabry. Both sides, their third game in three days. Neither bench very deep. In particular, Notre Dame, their bench did not score a point yesterday in the semis. Jasmine Jones with a defensive assignment. You see the hard hedge by Sam Furing on that ball screening action for Enrique. Jackie Young with the shot clock winding down, and they will not get a shot up. The point guard, Erica Carter, will bring it up. Durr, Jones, Heinz Allen, and Furing. So with Durr and Heinz Allen, it's the first time in ACC history that two players of the year are on the floor together for the same team. Heinz Allen winning that award a couple seasons ago. It's a nice blend of perimeter and interior with Asia Durr. And you see Louisville extending their defense. They're going to try to make Notre Dame work deeper into the shot clock. They'll play primarily man to man. The screen set by Jess Shepard, a big addition. The transfer from Nebraska this year is Catherine Westbell. Scores from that four spot. Well, one of the storylines for Notre Dame has been some significant season ending injuries. All of those before conference play began. Since the Louisville game where Notre Dame didn't even what Muffet McGraw said compete. They have played primarily 2-3 zone. Louisville really exposed them in the man-to-man -man defense. Heinz Allen fouled on the putback. Yeah, Jeff Walls uh, in his 11th season now, including a couple of trips to the national championship game. He was the coach of the year this year. Said, hey, we know we're going to get some shots up today against that zone. Can they shoot anywhere near the regular season matchup when they were over 60% from inside and outside the line? I think the, the key to playing Notre Dame is you have to score with them. You're going to have to be able to have a very good offensive game against the 2-3 zone to be able to pull out the title. Notre Dame doesn't have much that they can go to defensively except for a little bit of junk, and we are uh, heads up for that. Marina Mabry fouled on the drive. She's been the star through the first two games for Muffet McGraw, winner of the 2001 National Championship. And what a night, or what a day here for Notre Dame. You know, they've been playing basketball for over 60 years. Never, men's or women's, ACC basketball has a team won five doubles in a row. Notre Dame can do that with a win today. Five straight regular season, five straight tournament titles for the Hall of Fame head coach. It's impressive that you can have that kind of culture in what Notre Dame has, and Louisville has the same thing. They have players that can pass, they can score, and they understand how to play. They don't have to just be in sets. They're going to make the play. They can break it off at any time. Hines Allen trying to face up on Shepard. Took a bump and somehow managed to muscle it up off the glass for two. You see right away Louisville's first couple of possessions are aggressive to the rim. The alley-oop for the first bucket. Maisha Hines Allen with her back to the basket. Here's more ball pressure on Mabry. Little off balance on the shot. Louisville looks to push. Jones, the pull-up baseline, got it. Now Jasmine Jones, I think, has been, uh, along with Furing, the MVP for Louisville thus far in the tournament. They have been fantastic, and Jasmine Jones has the assignment on Agumbawale. This time it's Jackie Young bringing the ball up the floor. You mentioned the injuries, Debbie. Perhaps the most significant development out of that is the loss of a point guard. And so they are really kind of playing that by committee. Agumbawale splits the defense, finds Shepard underneath. What a terrific handle to split that double and find Shepard on the opposite side, but to, to button up your point, Beth, yes. Marina Mabry had 
to move over to what you would call the point guard position. But she doesn't look at it as being the point guard. She told me she's more of the lead guard. She likes that connotation better. Plus, I don't remember the last time Notre Dame had a scoring threat at the top of their offense. Their point guards in the past have been more facilitators than scorers. Back to Diggins, really. Well, Fearing commits the foul. I certainly remember her. Mm. <laughs> this is a nice split right here and a good find on the weak side. Great read by Arike. Skyler guiding the uh, Irish through the end of the Big East where they won back-to-back -back titles before joining the ACC. And they have dominated since their arrival, and Agumboale drops one down. We'll keep an eye on that head-to-head -head between her and her good buddy, Asia Durr. They've played together over the summer as well. There's the handoff to Durr. Carter looking for three. Scrap for the rebound, a held ball, and it will go to the Irish. Marina Mabry, the junior from South Jersey, a pair of 20-point performances already through the first two games for Notre Dame. She got to the free throw line yesterday against Florida State. Seven for 10 from the line. It's the most free throws she shot all season. So she'll help bring it up here, but then they'll move her over more into a two spot. Agumba Wale looking for the three. Numbers here for Louisville. Erica Carter has two turnovers in this entire tournament. She's done a terrific job facilitating for Louisville. Now Notre Dame's turn to run. Jackie Young will pull up in the lane. You see Carter waited too long to stop the ball. By the time she got in position, Jackie Young was already in the lane. Five minutes in, 10-7. ND on top. Carter, looking for three. All even at 10 apiece. <laughs> the over-under, I think, better be pretty high yes. for this one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> they combined for 167 points the first time they met. Westbelt. Well, I'm not sure the defense can stop the other. They're both so good offensively. Nice no-look, Durr, Heinz Allen. When your bigs run ahead of the basketball like that in transition, you're going to have lots of options when you're a playmaking guard like Durr. Because the top of the floor will open up for you also in transition because they run so hard. Both Durr and Heinz Allen dropped 30 on the Irish in that regular season meeting. Shepard scores down low. I think that's Jessica Shepard's the most significant development for Notre Dame when they got her eligible this year to play off her transfer year from Nebraska. Immediately, yeah. It, 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 made, it made their offense just that much better because she's a terrific passer and she's a three-point shooter. She can pick and pop and all the stuff that they like to run. She may be the most significant pickup when you look at transfers around the country. You think Azra Stevens, of course, at, at UConn from Duke. Westbelled. Weak side Jones. Well, Westbelt's going to be open. She's going to have to knock down shots. And Carter's decision making in this tournament has been fantastic. She's got six. Had 11 points, five rebounds, five assists in their quarter or their semifinal win yesterday. The other thing too about this game, I was going to say that they, they, they can score so well that this game's going to fly by. <laughs> First foul on Heinz Allen. Now check this out, Enrique doing a terrific job getting a piece of the paint, pull up at the nail and sticks the jumper. And Erica Carter, the Notre Dame, or the Louisville point guard on fire. Run for the Fighting Irish with their four consecutive ACC tournament titles. They have all been impressive wins and an error of ACC dominance when you look at the regular season and the tournament 91 and 3 over the last five years one of those threes is Louisville from earlier this year but it has been all Irish since they've come on board
never lost at home in the ACC. Those three losses on the road. It's a 10-2 run right now for Louisville to open up the lead. Christina Nelson in off the bench. And how about the work for Shepard? She's got six points early on for the Irish, but they don't get back. And Jones beats him up the floor. Hey, that's a problem for Notre Dame with the bigs in in this lineup is getting up and down the court against Louisville's quicker front line. And that was just Jasmine Jones beating everybody down the court. Now Jeff Walls goes to Dana Evans and she's going to face guard Marina Mabry and try to just take her out. You can sense a little frustration from Mabry. Shepard and one. She's been carrying the mail early on for the Irish. And she hasn't missed a shot. Three for three from the floor. See, Sam Fury over helps. You already got two players on the block. You need to be able to read that weak side. Jeff Falls is explaining that right now. Breaking that down on film. And he's going to have to take Fury out. She just picked up her second foul. 2.20 to go in the first quarter. And Jess Shepard with nine points early. Notre Dame just extending their 2 3. Durr gets a touch. Aisha's 0 for 2. She has been really struggling shooting the ball here at the ACC tournament. Under 20%, in fact. And even worse from outside the arc. Now she's just 1 for 14 outside the three point line in this tournament. Evans has to chuck. And a shot clock violation. Not a good possession, and Asia Durr not really involved offensively. Now, this is where you got to get to the glass. You got to try to go off the bounce. You got to try to generate your own possessions if you're Asia Durr, just to try to, to get yourself going offensively. And you see Evans really denying Mabry an opportunity. Already under 10 before somebody else gets the ball. Shepard really posting hard. And Shepard is fouled by Heinz Allen, and that's going to be two now on both Cardinal Big Girls. Jeff Wells obviously not pleased. But well, watch how hard she's posting up. And if you don't throw the ball in there, that foul doesn't get called. That's a terrific post up by Shepard. And she now has both Fearing and Heinz Allen off to the side. Heinz Allen still trying to argue with the official. Is she still in the game? Yes, yeah, she is still in the game right now. And Walls and the bench were warned. Jess Shepard now has the last eight points for Notre Dame. And there goes Heinz Allen. And there also goes Asia Durr with a minute and a half to go in the quarter. Well, Kylie Shook, number 21, checks in for Louisville. She's a 6'4 sophomore. She played 12 minutes in the game yesterday against now NC State. Excuse me, she played three minutes. She played 12 against Virginia Tech. Three minutes against NC State. to score here with this lineup for Louisville. Spacing wasn't right for the Ville. Here comes Agumbawale on the run. And a blocking foul going to be called. As Agumbawale hits the deck. They're going to call that a shooting foul? It takes a lot to bump Arike off her line. And when she gets a downhill head of steam going, and wow, this is a major problem now for Louisville. That's the second foul on Jasmine Jones. That's three Louisville starters with two. Notre Dame runs the floor so hard. They put pressure on your defense the minute they rebound. Not a lot of teams do that. Connecticut runs the floor hard. They do. Magumba Waller with a couple of free throws there. Seven unanswered for the Irish. Uh, the first quarter in this ACC final, the first of our quadruple header for you today. You can't just keep playing on top of that 2-3 zone. You got to play inside it. There you go, to the nail. Jones, good choice. 
Great flash. She's got eight here in the quarter. Rimbawale now handling. Back to Enrique, an open look from three. And an over the back foul gonna be called on Young. We've got your four championship games today and then the Americans still to come on Tuesday night. In all likelihood, I'll look for you at undefeated Connecticut. That, by the way, was the second foul on Jackie Young. Louisville, final seconds of the quarter. Gonna have to hustle. Off the bounce to the left side, the pull up short from Dana Evans. Through one, all even, 21 apiece. Monday coming up on March 12th. One of the most dramatic moments, I think, is to find out who gets to stay home and host. So these are three teams on the host bubble. If you've only got to take one as a four seed to stay home, which one do you like? Little difference in RPI and strength of schedule, and then the number of quality wins. And how about that? South Florida. Maryland playing for the Big Ten title today. South Florida has yeah. to play. Presumably, they go to the title game. Mm -hmm. UConn three times. That's tough. And Carter, three-pointer for Louisville. Right now, Charlie Cream's got Georgia as a four, and Maryland and USF as five. So Charlie's going to change. Let's see if that could the day. Let's see if that could change a little bit based on those numbers. I think Charlie might consider changing that. You got some sway? No, I don't have any sway. <laughs> I just think the, the teams are going to. The teams are going to make themselves put that, present that to him. That's what uh, makes that Big Ten matchup a big one for the Terps. Can they move up a line and get to host in College Park? Erica Carter with her third triple of the game. Asia Durr trying to get going. Baseline floater, and Asia Durr has got her first bucket. Good job uh, to get Durr a uh, a catch, a quality catch on a position on the floor where she can make a play. They have an even bigger role for the rest of this quarter with three starters sitting with two fouls each for Louisville, including Maisha Hines-Allen. Shepard has been a force down low for the Irish. And the foul is good from Westbell. And Sam Furing not looking 100% running back down the floor. She is back out there with the two fouls. Courtney? Jeff, in that last huddle, Jeff Walls specifically spoke to Sam Fearing. He said, I need two to three good minutes from you. Don't try to block shots. Just go out there and play and be careful with the foul trouble. Number three and white. Got to be careful there on the rebound. Nelson snags it. Nogumbuale going to the left side, and Durr got the block. Agumba Wale motoring in traffic. You just can't bump her off her line. She's so strong. Durham makes a terrific defensive play. Mabry goes baseline, blocked. Mabry not effective in early on. Only two free throws, no baskets for Mabry, who's been the MVP for Notre Dame in this tournament so far. And this one a foul on the floor. That'll be on Erica Carter, the junior from Los Angeles. Mabry, watch for her to get the ball right back here on the three. Yep. Couldn't knock it down. Look at the jump from the regular season of the tournament so far for Mabry, up to 25 a game. She'll launch again. And opens up 0 for 4, but the Irish again on the glass without Heinz Allen in there. Back-to-back -back offensive rebounds for Westbelt. Would this be the tall Notre Dame lineup? All three post players to counter Louisville's foul trouble. Carter pulls up from the elbow around and out.
Dumbuale. Not by Carter, who thought she had the steal. Rika knocks it down mid-range. She's got six. Durr with the quick counter and the left hand. Four for Asia. I think Asia Durr is starting to come alive now. We've been waiting all tournament to see something from her. He's really struggled. Hasn't let up on the defensive end, but she just hasn't been able to find her rhythm offensively. Mismatch with Westbell. And Nelson turned it over. And that's Sam Fearing doing a good job of ball pressure. And then Mabry's going to be called for the foul on Durr. And for the 33rd year, ESPN Champ Week continues with these three championship games still to come from the SEC, the Big Ten, and the Pac-12. And what's on the line today? Can South Carolina get the upset of the undefeated Mississippi State team and get out of Albany? Right now, they're slated to join UConn there. Can Maryland play their way into a host spot? And we're going to talk about this a little bit later, Debbie. Why not Stanford for a two seed out west if they beat Oregon for the second time this year? Yeah, I mean, they finished in second place in the Pac-12. Mm -hmm. They're playing for the title again. First time for Oregon playing in the title yeah. game. What a season. It's been two couple of years now for the Ducks. Got to the Elite Eight last year. West Bell tried to scoop. Look at Shepard getting on the glass. Durr comes away with it. Carter through the hands and legs of Furing. And Jeff Wall is really positive over there right now. His team has had some good shots. They haven't knocked down some open jumpers. But they're getting the shots they want against the zone. And an offensive foul called on Shepard. There's been a lot of displacement in the post. And this is this is a good call. Okay, that is Shepard is backing Furing down and displacing her to the block. There's a difference between posting up and backing somebody all the way down like that. It's an ever so slight difference, but there is a difference. <laughs> That's going to be two on Shepard. So now Shepard and Young with two apiece for the Irish. No, they're going to give that to Patterson. It goes to Patterson. Oh, wow. That's a, wow, that's a break for Notre Dame. Durr through traffic. Jones able to keep it alive, and Fearing comes out with it. Picked off by Young Mabry ahead of the pack. And Durr will let her go. Four now for Marina. Good play by Patterson on the back side of that zone. Buffalo McGraw told us today at shoot around she was going to try to get Danielle Patterson some more minutes. Only five yesterday against Florida State. The other side to Jones. Kick out to Durr, wide open look from three, and Asia's got it. You could just sense a, some relief from Asia. Cards with the lead, trying to get through this second quarter without Heinz Allen, who's back now on the floor. Playing with the two fouls. Looking to run the break ahead of the pack. Tough catch, and it won't go. There is a on the floor. Notre Dame playing that 2-3 zone, able to generate some deflections, a steal, and a layup. Louisville by two. Thank you, Maria. Going to be a great day for college basketball fans. There's the two stars thus far, six for Agumba Wale and seven for Durr. Courtney? 
And it's been a good side so far for Asia Durr in this game, shooting 50% from the field because in the ACC tournament coming into this game, she was only shooting 22% from the field. But Coach Wall said she was still demanding att attention, so that was getting others open. But in that last huddle, he told her, when you drive, it is great. Whether you take the shot or kick it out, continue to penetrate. Well, everyone has to know where Asia Durr is. I mean, you have to guard her with a player and a half, which means one person on her and everyone else's other half their attention has to be on where Asia Durr is. Patterson stepping out of Rumbawale, checks the shot clock, it's under five. Enrique looking to create. Good defense by Louisville on her. Through right here on the trail. Notre Dame lost her. Couldn't knock it down. Ajumbawale off the crossover and the pull up too hard. And now Dura with the push the other way. Jasmine Jones missed the layup. The foul returns to Louisville. Jones, her third. Well, the look at uh, the comparison from the regular season to the ACC tournament, a big drop off in production for the player of the year. She's really struggled here. She hasn't shot it well, but she hasn't, her basketball body language never went south. I mean, clearly everyone knows that she struggled, but the other pieces around her have played really well. That's why Louisville's here. And Louisville just lost a piece. Jasmine Jones is out with three fouls. Then their leading scorer here in the first half. You know, that's a, it's just not good for Louisville. You miss a layup in transition, and then you commit the foul. Again, the shot clock winding down, and Notre Dame goes over the top for some bench points. Coco Nelson, she's got four. Really good find against the ball pressure by Mabry. She threw that pass where only Nelson could catch it. Evans, air ball, Shepard will push. Look at Shepard handling like a guard out there. Jackie Young looking to work inside. Heinz Allen rips the rebound. Final two minutes of the first half, even at 33. Pace of the game is slowed down yeah. from the first quarter. Seven ties. Ten lead changes. Back and forth we go. Heinz Allen gets behind the defense. Seven from Aisha. Westbelt will bring it up with Evans denying Mabry. Young doubled. Nelson got to knock that down with Louisville leaving her alone. She's got six. Really good patience. Nice composure late into the shot clock. Making that play without Enrique on the floor. Brings Allen. Nelson able to take it away from Shook. of this first half. Maybe we will come get it. And the foul. <laughs> Louisville's got fouls to give. One of the things Louisville's done well is backside scoring against the zone. You see the pass right here. And it's almost telegraphed, but it's a nice ball fake that sets it up over the top. You throw that pass to the corner of the backboard where only Maisha Hines Allen can go get it. Louisville still has a foul to give. Shepard drops it off for Nelson, and a big first half for her off the bench for the Irish. Carter does not get it off in time, and Notre Dame will take the two-point lead into the locker room.
in our ACC championship game as the Irish try and win a fifth title in a row. They don't have a three ball. They do have a significant advantage on the glass. There's a star watch for you with a Goomba Wale and Durr combining for 13 points. And let's see how they fare in this second half to decide an ACC championship. It would be a first for Louisville, their first postseason title in 25 years, all the way back to the Metro Conference. For Notre Dame, looking for a fifth in a row. And the deep three by Marina Mabry. She had a couple of those yesterday. Wow. If they're going to win the championship, she's going to have to come alive here in the second half. 24 in the quarters, 27 yesterday in the semis for Mabry. Rains Allen, tough skip pass to Durr. She finds Jones on the baseline. Good box out by Gumbarale so Young could snare it. They were staying in their man-to-man -man defense. I thought there were possessions where they overhelped in the first half. Let's see if they do a better job of guarding their own player. Let's check in with Courtney Lyle. Yeah, I talked to Louisville head coach Jeff Walls coming out of halftime, and he said he really liked the pace that his team was playing with, but he told us before the game they've got to make shots. They hit 48% from the field, but so not bad in the first half, but he wanted to see those easy layups go in. He also specifically mentioned Christina Nelson by name and said we can't give her anything too easy. She's playing great. Getting that production off the bench that Muffet McGraw needs, only playing with a short bench. Eight players is pretty much as deep as she would go. Heinz Allen gets the bucket inside for Louisville. But you know what, Notre Dame won, uh, played in the Final Four in 97 and only had seven players. They won the championship in 01, seven players in that game, including assistant coach Neil Ivey. Jackie Young with the bucket for Notre Dame. First of our four championship games for you today. We got them all lined up, all one versus two seeds, by the way. Seeing a 1-3-1 one, one out of Notre Dame. We saw a little bit of this yesterday against Florida State. Durr with a chance, got it. Well, Louisville recognized it right away. And a nice job to catch and shoot. Step right into that three for Durr. Double digits for Asia Carter now with four assists. Michael Carter, only one turnover in the game. That's two for the entire tournament. Young. Really made it difficult. Collision, no whistle. Play on, say the officials, and Agumbawale more than glad to oblige. Well, and Fury with two fouls. No, she can't commit a, a, a play there. You heard Courtney in the first half. Report from Jeff Wells Hunter that he doesn't want Fury to try to block any shots. Those foul problems, by the way, gone for the most part, with the exception of Jasmine Jones, who has three. The others with two. Heinz Allen, nice spin into the lane. Well, good take. And she recognizes that Marina Mabry had her on the match up there, and, and Heinz Allen knows she can score in that defensive assignment. We were doing a really good job moving the ball against the zone. Shepard. Good breach. So quick on the release. That one won't go. Let me get switch to keep the pressure on. Staying in the 1 3 1. This is what changed the game in the semifinals when they were struggling against Florida State. Banked in by Erica Carter. The Louisville bench, of course, with a big smile on their face. <laughs> Erica Carter acting like business as usual. Four for five from downtown for Carter. Shepard down on the block for two. Really good find. Marina Mabry, nice post entry off the bounce. 13 for Shepard. 
Hines Allen. Nice dish from Jones. Louisville playing right down the middle of the floor in the shoot as we have uh, a little extracurricular under the basket. Fearing and Agumbawale, I think, were the two that got tangled up there, the officials intervening. There's the bucket by Heinz Allen. Enrique and Fearing get tangled up there. Wow. A lot on the line for these two. Louisville desperate for a title. The Irish chasing history and off the turnover. Louisville goes up three. I like the Louisville game plan to keep full court pressure man to man on Notre Dame. You can't zone press them. Offensive foul going to be called on Mabry. And Louisville is all fired up. We sensed a little frustration out of Mabry in the first half, but she started the second half shooting the ball well. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look when we get a dead ball and what, what transpired off the ball in the last possession. chess match, right? Uh, that's why Louisville doesn't want her to get the ball. That's exactly why Notre Dame wants her making those decisions. And Marina Mabry. Runs out and hands it off to an assistant coach. Emotions running high, Debbie. There is a title on the floor. There's a title on the line. Notre Dame has owned the ACC tournament. You see a little extra curricular under the basket. And then the next time down the floor. Oh, yeah, it's on. Yeah, listening in to Muffin McGraw talking to her team for Notre Dame, she said, be ready. Anytime they get near you, they're going to fall down. So be ready for that. Also, she said, if you're being face guarded, face guarded, blow by them and go back door. Get open. Now, let's see if uh, they can find some opportunities against the Louisville overplay. Remember in the first half I said about Louisville, you know, over helping. They've done a much better job here in the second half of guarding the person that they're supposed to keep in front of them. Things have gotten a little chippy here in the third quarter. These two old rivals from their days together in the Big East. It's been postseason after postseason dominated by Notre Dame, but this year Louisville got the regular season win. They got the number one seed. And they're trying to knock off the Irish and prevent them from making ACC history with a fifth consecutive double of regular season and tournament titles. Man to man full court pressure from the opening jump ball. There's the double on Mabry. Really making it tough for her to handle. to get inside her head. She's got incredible toughness, mental toughness to her game. And she's made some really nice reads here in the second half. Nice cut going back door, missed it. Shepard trying to clean it up. That won't go, and Hines Allen has it. Well, it's good defense by Louisville. They ran that out of bounds play where she likes to come in and get the handoff and shoot the three. They took that away, and she read it back door, but Louisville good at the rim. Four players in double figures for Louisville. And a well-balanced attack. Shot clocks at five. The skip to Durr going off the bounce, pulls up over at Gumbawale, and tipped back out to Asia. And they overload the 
the zone. Oh, good seal by Fury. With the left hand. Great call. Eight for Sam. Shepard's 15 points leading the way for Notre Dame. That lob has been effective, and she muscles it up and in. Yeah, Notre Dame has been committed to going to the interior each possession. They are giving a good look to the post. You know plays in the shoot, the free throw lane extended. It's hard to bring help to those. And Shepard does such a great job of calling for the ball. Final two minutes of this third quarter. Durr gets an open look. Weak side, Jones knocked loose by Mabry. Agumbawale put that head down off the bounce. And a foul on Carter, I believe, for clearing Nelson out from underneath. Carter can clear Nelson out? <laughs> That's her third. Look at Carter on the inside, weak side, trying to get in position to rebound. And a little shove in the back. Nelson to the free throw line. Irish are seven for seven. Oh, they're going to inbound it underneath. Excuse me. Again, it's that over helping there that someone on the back side is supposed to have Nelson. Carter's got to either drop down sooner or they've got to get somebody from that strong side post. They've overplayed that. Number one, the double comes. Mabry, D3 from the hash. Air ball. Louisville ball. Marike and Marina in the middle of the floor. Marina's going to take a seat. They're roommates. We had a nice conversation with them today about who does the chores. We got some work to do right now. They're a combined five for 19 today. Somebody needs to start doing the dishes out here. Knocking down jump shots. Hines Allen mid range. And all of a sudden, both sides have chilled out. And not the way you want. Agumbawale looking for a remedy. That won't fall. Got a chance for a two for one here if you score quickly. Evans out of control. They're going, they're going to call a block. The feet were on the line for Nelson in the restricted area. When that play starts outside the lower defensive box, which brings the restricted area into play, even though it looked like she had lost the basketball, it doesn't matter. Her feet were in the restricted area. Good read by Joe Vasili, along with Dee Cantner and Eric Bruton, our officials today. Second on Nelson. Only two free throw attempts the entire game so far for Louisville. During the junior from New Jersey, tied a career high with 17 in the quarters, a solid semifinal game, 15 points yesterday. She's a terrific post-up player. She screens, she defends her position. She's very, very good defensive habits, high hands on the catch, principle of verticality, all that stuff. So she's been able, you know, after picking up those two f quick fouls in the first half, that she has been able to play without fouling. So that's, um, uh, Jeff Walsh trusts her on the floor and he needs her on the floor to be able to win. Off of the lane violation, Fearing becomes the fifth Cardinal in double figures today in a five point lead. Dana Evans guarding Mabry. 
Here's a Dura on Enrique. There's a turnover. Bad pass by Young. One shot. Get the ball out of the freshman's hands. This possession matters. Durr's got it. The trapper. Notre Dame makes her give it up. Kylie shot the turnaround, though. To the fourth quarter we go to decide the ACC championship. All available on your ESPN app if you're like Debbie and I and uh, Courtney. We're all traveling later today. Ten minutes to go to decide a champ in the ACC. For Louisville, it would be their first in 25 years. Or for the Irish, a fifth consecutive. A really good hustle, good defensive possession by Notre Dame. Magumbawale. Oh, it looked like a lot of contact there. Enrique spins and hits. He is really seeking shots. Each time down, you got to stop her earlier. She's getting too deep into Louisville's defense. She and Mabry just five of 20 thus far in the game. For Louisville, all five starters in double digits, no points from their bench today. You can't let the ball get stuck against the zone. You got to move it. Hines Allen drops it off for Fury and a good foul. Really nice interior passing. Hines Allen reading the double coming from the weak side. This is a matchup I'd like to see one on one, just if we could buy a ticket for these two. They're so good offensively. Ogumbawale on door, help came, and she missed the shot. Carter has already got four threes today off the mark there. They're going to go into their chin action. The Louisville overplaying. They got to make sure they don't get beat on a back door. Nice shot there. Some indecision by Nelson. Had a wide open Shepard on the wing. Jones on attending. Mabry keeping that dribble low. Forced that one and Heinz Allen with the block. Shot selection an issue right now for Notre Dame. You don't see Notre Dame. Uh, passing the basketball. That's one of their strengths, playing off the pass, making Louisville defend. Quick shots the last couple of possessions. Carter using the screen to hit. Timeout, Notre Dame. Really good timeout by the Irish. A seven-point lead by Louisville. Erica Carter's decision making, good all day. Louisville with the lead over Notre Dame here in the ACC final fourth quarter, up seven. All five of their starters, double digits. They're shooting 50% for the day. Let's check in with Courtney. Well, Jeff Walls in that last huddle looked at his team, looked at the clock and said, 7-12 left. I'm so proud of your effort, but when your number is called in this last seven minutes, be ready to go. I want all five crashing the glass on both ends. Well, Louisville, as you mentioned, best no bench scoring. 25 baskets, 19 of which assisted. Notre Dame, the other side, their number not as good. They've played too much off the bounce here in the final stages of the game, and that's why Muffin McGraw called the timeout. Her team needs to, to get back into rhythm playing off the pass. Irish turn it over. I think Notre Dame's inability to show some poise here has, has been affected by Louisville's defense. Yep. They have been terrific with good ball pressure, playing personnel, and those two, 26% will not be good enough the rest of the way. That's what they've shot so far today. Well, seven points, it's a three possession game. So for Notre Dame, can you get three stops? And this is, uh, they're one, back in their 1-3-1. One, one. Dur short, Nelson with the rebound and turned it over. 
Jones missed the layup. Heinz Allen, another opportunity. Jones way up to get it again. Outstanding effort from Jeff Walsh Cardinals. Really great hustle. Just like Courtney reported, crash the glass. Get on the boards. We talk about a team that's hungry. Their years in the Big East looking up at Connecticut and Notre Dame. And then you come to the ACC and it's Notre Dame again right up there in front of you. You got to go back to 1993, the last tournament championship for Louisville. And they are trying to break through and end Notre Dame's historic bid for a fifth consecutive double. Never happened in over 60 years of ACC men's and women's basketball. Five straight regular, five straight tournament titles, and Shepard trying to get the Irish right back in it. And I like Muffin McGraw going to the isolation to Jackie Young. She didn't convert it against Asia Durr, but I would go back to that set. Jess Shepard with a terrific hustle play on the glass. She's been their best player today with 19 points. Carter, See, that shot is available. I might stick Asia Durr in that position behind that furing screen. On the other side of the floor, on the left side. Mabry bumped by Jones. And that's gonna be her fourth. Jones is gonna have to check out. Dana Evans returns. Jeff Walls might consider going offense defense here with Jones. Shepard spinning, turning, and getting it to go. She knows she's having a big game. 21 now for Shepard. Turns down the handoff for the three. just to change it up a little bit late in the game. Carter can't be shy about looking for a shot. Passed it up there, Durr. The double, Evans, now Carter. Heinz Allen keeps it alive. Durr wide open three. Crashing the offensive glass. Louisville all over it. Smart play by Maisha Hines Allen. Check down behind the line. Let it fly. Notre Dame crashing the ACC party in a big way. Another double championship in the ACC. Notre Dame, your 2016 ACC champions for four consecutive years. Four straight celebrations, four straight ACC tournament titles for Notre Dame. Louisville trying to end that run and win their first ACC championship and their first postseason tournament crown in 25 years. Both these teams firmly entrenched as number one seeds in the NCAA tournament. And now trying to grab a title. Well, they clear it out this time for Jackie Young. Good call from the bench by Muffet McGraw. They're going to make Asia Durr defend Jackie Young off the bounce or with her back to the basket. Asia Durr, ACC Player of the Year. Number 25 in white. Time out, Louisville. Let's check in with Courtney Lyle. How about we go to a break first, and we'll hear from Courtney on the other side. 4.08 to play in the final. 63-58, Louisville. Courtney, what you got? Yeah, in that last huddle, Muffin McGraw talking to her team, she said, nobody wants to rebound. If you guys don't crash the glass, then we have nothing. Louisville's killing us right now on the boards. And big offensive rebound for Heinz Allen to get it back out to Durr just a moment ago. And there's Mabry getting on the glass. Under four to go. 
Clear out for Enrique. Agumba Wale slashing to the rim. How about Muffin McGraw going back to back isolations for Jackie Young and Enrique? Agumba Wale. Now Agumba Wale defending on Durr over there on the wing. Out of the zone. And Jones wasn't ready for it from Carter. Irish have made four in a row. A three here would tie it. Who's going to get the ISO this time? Agumawale going off the bounce will pull up for two. Five in a row for the Irish. Terrific use of the ball screen in the middle of the floor. And Fury late on the hedge or gap and help. It's better offense than defense. Carter on the drive, pass down at the legs of Heinz Allen. And the Irish were the last to touch it out of bounds. A 10-3 run for Notre Dame to get right back in it. with the shot clock winding down. Has to give it up. Heinz Allen, baseline, good. Really good ball movement. 15 for Heinz Allen. Mabry, that's a tough pass, and it's picked off. Guring does a great job of stuffing that duck in. Ngumbawale with the foul. You probe, you get a piece of the top of the floor, you pa pass to the open jump shooter, right to the shooting pocket. Foul's not an issue right now. Both sides with plenty of timeouts. Notre Dame with the arrow. The skip to Carter. The scramble for the rebound, and it's a held ball to Notre Dame. Well, Muffin McGraw is right about that on the glass. It's who wants it more right now on the boards. This is the first of four championship games coming your way today. SEC's on deck. Big Ten and Pac-12 later on today. Shepard. Young flashes to the high post and hits. Confidence. Big buckets now. Every single one. Defending Marina Mabry is Jones. Durr stays on Young, another clear out. Final minute, and a timeout, Notre Dame. Irish on a late run to get within a point. This is terrific play calling from the sideline because what you're doing is maximizing your offensive strengths against the defense of Louisville. So you isolate Jackie Young, you get her in the Asia Durham matchup, then the next time down you isolate Arike with a clear out off the bounce. Playing off the screening action by Catherine Westbound. Long closeout in the pinch. Just better offense right now by Notre Dame. 12-5 run, Beth. All the greats in this league over the years 
Jordan and Johnny Dawkins, David Thompson on the men's side. None of them ever involved in five straight doubles. Dawn Staley on the women's side. Elena Beard, Ivory Latta, none of them involved in five straight doubles. Can the Irish do it for the first time in ACC history? And a shot clock violation for Louisville. With the ball and a one-point lead. That play was just too slow developing for Notre Dame. They only had 12 on the shot clock. Looks like Notre Dame's gonna go man to man here. They come out of the zone. Jackie Young defending on Durr. Westbald on Heinz Allen. Maisha dropping it off for Furing. Basket and a foul. Terrific execution. Maisha Hines Allen catches it on the top of the floor and assesses, sort of stands up Greenbe Greenbelt, Westbelt, excuse me. What a great find. And a massive free throw right here to make it a four point lead. Timeout, Notre Dame. 68-64, Louisville. A third section timeout. The Irish chasing history for Louisville, a shot at their first postseason crown in 25 years. Look for Arike Agumawale to get the ball right back after she inbounds it. Trouble on the inbound. Shepard turns. She's going to take it inside and score. It's been so good all game. You see, Jeff Walls has timeouts, but he's not going to use it. The quick foul on Heinz Allen. Sometimes coaches don't want to advance the ball because they want to use the full length of the floor. We had this conversation with Jeff Walls yesterday. We know he'd rather have space when he knows the team is going to foul. So instead of entering the ball at, in front of where he's standing, he can use the full court. Tipped out of bounds. The next foul will be the fifth, and that will put Louisville on the line to shoot two free throws. And then to review here to make sure that uh, the ball went off of a Notre Dame player, the call here is it will stay Louisville. They're going to double check. Did Maisha Hines even, Allen even touch it? Westbell definitely taps it. I think, I don't, even, I don't think Maisha Hines Allen touched it. Westbell doing a good job defending there. Ooh, I, I, you don't want to catch the I, ball that close to the baseline. I think that white taped finger may have hit it. Westbell definitely whacks it first. But watch that taped white finger, uh, the taped finger there of Heinz Allen. Hmm, hard to tell from that. See, right there, we're blocked. She's definitely closest to it, but does she touch it? Well, on the floor, the ball is Louisville. So if it's, yeah. it's got to be crystal clear here. Either way, okay, let's say Louisville's ball. They're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna set up their press breaker because Notre Dame has to go for a quick steal if they can get the steal or they're going to have to foul right away. Now I'm wondering if, if Jeff Walls gets the ball now because of, he loves the space. You've got decisions to make here. If you, you want to use a timeout to advance the ball, you've got three. But we know from talking to him yesterday about a very similar situation towards the end of the NC State game when NC State had fouls to give. He likes operating with more space. They will stay with Louisville. Walls is talking with the official right now about where they want it, and it looks like they'll go ahead and keep it down at the far end. And it's a spot throw in. You can't move. Fearing has to stay put. 
She's got Carter on the inbound and the foul right away. See, in a foot race, one-on-one, -on -one, Erica Carter's going to win that matchup with Marina Mabry. That's an excellent play to get the ball in bounds and you put your point guard on the free throw line she is an 80 percent shooter but has only been to the line 20 times all season and none so far today three point lead they hang on here see your mvp it's been pretty good probably yeah Point game, 16 for Carter to go along with six assists. Jeff Walls told us yesterday, Erica Carter is just, will be great in the 50-year-old YMCA or YWCA league. So there's the final timeout for Notre Dame. They can now advance to half court. The reason why he says that about Erica Carter is because she just makes plays. There's nothing flashy about what she does. What do you like here for the Irish? And so for Notre Dame, I, you got to get a, you got a chance for a quick two. If the three is available, you do that. But I like the last play they ran with a direct feed to the post to Jess Shepard. Get a quick two, and then look to get a steal. Louisville does have a chance now to advance the ball with three timeouts. Notre Dame, as you mentioned, no timeouts left. Possession arrow is with Louisville. Here we go, Agumawale to inbound. Gets it in to Jackie Young. Louisville with fouls to give, because they only have one, so you let him put the ball on the floor, and then you foul. That took up about three seconds. Jeff Walls could do the same thing again. Two more to give. And he just said, make sure she's not shooting it. When you foul again, let her dribble, then you foul her. And they, they don't even need to foul. They get the steal instead. And a foul on Notre Dame. Heinz Allen reached in and knocked it away from Agumawale. Terrific defense all game by Louisville. They're man-to-man, -man, full court pressure. Heinz Allen stripped it loose, and then Durr was fouled. 8.2 seconds to go. You just got to get back now if you're Louisville and defend the three-point line, switch on everything. The best regular season in Louisville history and now looking to cap it off with a championship. Actually, just trying to stay away from them. Even if they hit a three, there's not enough time left or enough possessions for Notre Dame. Big three by Arike. You make her come back to get it. You try to use up some time. You don't want to get close enough to commit a foul. She hits a big shot. Asia Dirk can put this thing away right here at the line. And you can look at the Louisville bench. They sense it now. That should do it with 2.4 to go. A first championship in 25 years since the days of the Metro Conference. And they deny Notre Dame as Agumawale hits the three, but Louisville. The Cardinals are your national, your ACC champions. And an exchange in midcourt between Jeff Rawls and the Notre Dame coaching staff. Atlantic Coast Conference Championship for Louisville. 74-72 the final.